All right. Uh, yesterday during the office hour, I did a, a poor attempt to uh, show you this example, uh, exa uh, problem 28 from chapter 25, uh, basically on the, the previous handout that I had sent out, I didn't realize that I uh, didn't complete the, uh, the problem and uh, didn't know how to solve it right away. So I looked up the, the instruction manual and I didn't really like their method. It was a me method of uh, uh, breaking it up, breaking the total voltage into fractions. And I didn't like that. So uh, I approached it a different way. This is, this is my method. I didn't like the instructor manual method. So um, here we go. The chapter uh, 25, problem eight, this comes from the section 25.5. It has nothing to do with dielectrics, but it's in that section. Uh, each capacitor in the combination shown in figure 25.28 uh, has a breakdown voltage of 15 volts. What is the breakdown voltage of the combination between the points at uh, A and B? Well, um, my method of doing it was to simplify it. Uh, but before we even do that, I mean, if, if we simplify it and look at this, uh, uh, this simplified version, we can, we can look and see that um, this is a parallel combination and this is a parallel combination. So this combines to the 20 and 20 combined to uh, 40 microfarads and the same with the, uh, the one by B, it combines to 40 mi microfarads. And it gives you this, uh, this, ver this uh, uh, series uh, circuit here. And so that's the one we're gonna look at. And, and uh, one of the things to know is that whenever you have a voltage across a series, uh, a series string like this, every capacitor is gonna have the same charge and that's gonna help us. Um, and the, the uh, from the uh, equation, Delta V equals Q over C, that is the voltage is equal to the charge divided by the capacitance. If the capacitance goes up, the voltage goes down. And if the capacitor is lower, the voltage increases. Uh, so we're gonna use those, those facts. Uh, so since the 10, microfar 10 microfarad here is, is the lowest uh, of the, the capacitor, um, this string of series capacitors, it's going to, it has to withstand the 15 volt breakdown. Um, and we'll use that to, uh, to calculate the total breakdown for the, uh, for the problem. That is the, quest, that is the question in the problem statement. What is the breakdown voltage of the combination between point uh, A and B? So the, the first thing I did is I, I combined these and we get a 40 microfarad, 10 microfarad, and 40 microfarad between A and B. And so this is it partially reduced. Um, now we can't use the little shortcut C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. We're just gonna have to brute force it. But notice how I wrote the equation. C equivalent is equal to one over the sum of the reciprocals. Um, it's important to try to remember to do that because a lot of students um, the, the formula given is one over C equivalent is equal to the sum of the reciprocals and they forget to take the reciprocal and come up with the wrong answer. So this is the way I prefer to write it. Uh, and so that's what I wrote in this, uh, this step here. Uh, and then we getting a common denominator that's 40 microfarads. So we end up with one over 40 microfarads plus four over 40 microfarads farads plus one over 40 microfarads in the denominator. So you, that's easily summed. It's one over um, six divided by 40 microfarads. And if we take the reciprocal of that, it's 40 microfarads over six, which is equal to 6.67 microfarads. So that's the, the total charge. So now using equation 25.1, C equals Q, um, divided by delta V, we can solve for delta V and we get delta V equals Q over C. So uh, this relationship shows that the voltage is inversely proportional to the capacitance 
In other, way, in other words, for the same charge Q, the voltage decreases for capacitors of higher value and increases for capacitors of lower values. This means that the voltage across the 10 microfarad capacitor will have the highest voltage across it, and this will set our breakdown limit. Uh, now let's cal calculate the charge across the 10 microfarad capacitor, knowing that the charge will be the same in each of the series equivalent components. So it's just Q equals C delta V. So that's 10 times 10 to the minus six farads, 10 microfarads times 15 volts. It's equal to 150 micro coulombs. Um, now the, the 150 uh, micro coulomb charge will be stored in each of the capacitor in the series circuit. And we can use this fact to calculate the breakdown voltage. Well, again, we're going back to uh, uh, V equals Q divided by C. So the V total is the sum of these 150 microcoulombs divided by 40 microfarads, 150 microcoulombs divided by 10 microfarads added to 150 microcoulombs uh, divided by 40 microfarads. And you will see that we get 3.75 volts, 15 volts and 3.75 volts for a total breakdown voltage of 22.5 volts. Um, I think this is an easier way, a more straightforward way of doing it than I was, I was, uh, than I saw in the way the instructor manual did it. So here is the my method of doing problem twenty eight. Uh, I hope this helps.